happy Halloween. Thanks for coming and joining us in our pumpkin patch tonight. We're asking spirit, what message do we have? A trick or a treat? What message do you have for Aries? trick or a treat for Aries tonight. Thank you. We have invisibility, authenticity. Heart beating we sense, but we do not see. They touch, we chill, they come unseen. You know that feeling you sometimes have that someone is watching you? You cannot see them, yet you have a distinct feeling that someone is there. All the hairs are up on the back of your neck. You think you see something in the corner of your eye, but when you turn, there's nothing to be seen but empty air. This is the power of invisibility, the indirect fear and the covert threat of having to fight something that we cannot see. Humans have a strong visual sense, so it's no wonder that we are uneasy about things we cannot see. The ancients believed that all manner of creatures, mythical and physical, and of course the deities, could make themselves invisible at will. When we consider that some animals are camouflaged so well by their coats or behavior that sometimes even if we are looking straight at them, they are hard to see within their environment. That invisibility isn't such a far-fetched concept. In many cultures, the idea of beings who could watch us undetected were, and still are, common. The jinns, angels, nature spirits, the fae, and even practitioners of magic such as witches are said to have the power to appear and disappear at will. Later in literature and then in movies, invisibility becomes a common power and we now have fictional superheroes that are invisible and even cloaks of invisibility. The concept of invisibility is a double-edged sword. Whilst it is a powerful tool to be able to gain information or to assist whilst no one sees, individuals using it are privy to information that may not be meant for them and it may be taken out of context or unethically. It is a power of manipulation and easily abused. The idea of hiding away and not being seen is also a big part of the dark side of this concept. We are all born to shine our light out into the world and to take our roles. Hiding our talents, not expressing our true selves, stealing others' ideas or work and being someone else rather than your authentic self are all aspects to consider should this card appear in your reading. Oh, that's very interesting, Aries. Authenticity, shine your light. You are here for a purpose and a role. Can we have a card for guidance, please? For Aries, one card and guidance. too many cards <laughs> all right let's try one more time we would like one card please for Aries one card one card for Aries what guidance do you have for them what their invisibility rest. Give yourself time to recuperate. Okay, let's get some clarification on that rest. Do 
Do you feel that being your true authentic self will be a lot of work and exhausting for yourself? Okay, that card just went flying across the room. Hold on a second. Let me go get it. It is the Five of Wands in reverse. And the Lovers in reverse. So the Five of Wands usually is adversity, you know, um, disagreements, but it's in reverse. So I feel like just taking the time to rest and showing your true authentic self will, will not have confrontations or disagreements. And the lovers... So you, you not being your authentic self right now is preventing, you know, conflict in, in relationships. But once you come into this authentic self, and it's going to be an adjustment, so give yourself time to recuperate from this change. But the outcome will be that there won't be any more, you know, confrontations and problems, adversity in your relationships. Because you'll be shining your true self. Okay, Aries, that's what I have for you. Happy Halloween. Love and light.